Hey yo, do I look douchey enough for YouTube? Alright y'all, so what's up and what's good party people? What's good in the pooch YouTube? It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu, who coming at you guys with my very first ever sneaker customization video. So what I picked up today at the thrift store were these ugly $6 pair of simple plain Nikes. So essentially what I'm going to show you guys how to do in this video is one, paint and customize a pair of Nikes and two, turn an ugly wax shoe into a dope crack shoe. Without further ado, I'm going to sniff it and get straight into the tutorial and the supplies you're gonna need. Let do it. So the first supply you're gonna need is one and ugly ass pair of kicks. But no, for real though, you're gonna need a pair of shoes. I picked out these Nikes from the thrift once again for only six bucks because they have a sexy little silhouette so you can rock and customize the balls out of them. And two, they're cheap enough so where if you fuck up, you're not gonna hate yourself and wanna jump off a bridge made of ice cubes into a boiling tub of toad infested water. So yeah, get some kicks. Other supplies you're gonna need aside from shoes, you're gonna need some soap to clean them kicks with. I just use hand soap. And then you're gonna need a toothbrush or a hairbrush, you know, that you get your ways with to scrub down the shoes. You're gonna need a towel to wipe them off. Make sure it's nice and soft and that you don't wipe your booty on it because you don't want ass stains all up on your fresh custom kicks. You can use suede or nubuck cleaner. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you need a bristly little brush tip to clean the shoes, use that. And you also are gonna need some cotton rounds or cotton balls, but these things look like straight up apocalyptic wafers that you would like grub on like weird ass like white cotton cookies or some shit. But yeah, you're gonna need them. You're gonna also need a blue Stay Crippin' glove right there and some acetone. You want the glove so you don't burn your hand off. And of course you're gonna need a screwdriver or some like sharp object to pop open the uh, childproof acetone thing. And you also are gonna need a uh, glass cup or jar to put the acetone in and of course you're gonna need paint for a customization i use angelus it is evidently the best for painting on leather you can get it at uh like ebay amazon the black market wherever you so desire and i also use some crappy acrylic paint for painting thread and other random ish on the shoe and then you're gonna need of course some paint brushes these are actually artist loft but you can get other brands such as your grandmother's basement and then you're gonna need some blue painters tape once again keep it crip and cut jk if your blood don't kill me your other gang affiliated member and then a plastic container to mix your paint in lebron lost all right so before we even get into the steps the first thing you guys need to do is come up with an idea so in adobe illustrator i went ham and created this mock-up of the shoe but you guys can just draw it or have a mental picture in your head but either way just have an idea of how you want the shoe to turn out <laughs> all right so step one grab them kicks and get out them fat shits so these laces are fat than a mug or thick i'm not trying to offend anyone and then uh, just pull them out of their eyelet storage facilities and definitely be sure to wear a mask because you know there's dust, asbestos, all kinds of illnesses up in them laces. All right, so after you get the laces out, you're gonna wanna get your soap in hand, your toothbrush on deck, Patron on ice, you know, fill on them bristles. And then get your little dust rag, your little wash rag, your little ish, and then basically just scrub the hell out of them hoes. So as you can see, I am going in, whipping work like a boss, just getting rid of that initial layer of dirt because you don't want that like all up in the way. Even though you're gonna acetone the shoes later, I just like to do an initial quick little clean down of the shoe. So as you can see right here, I have my assemblage of acetoning supplies, acetone on deck, cotton rounds, and gloves. Look at that, moving the camera like a G. And I also have them on a cereal box. Shout out to Cheerios, thank you guys. Uh, if you guys wanna hook me up with a sponsored haul, do that. And I also have a jar. I know I showed off a cup, but I actually used a jar. And once again, there's a screwdriver to pop the cap on that acetone. So as you can see, I'm just popping the cap on the acetone. That's what you're gonna have to do. They child proof the mess out of that thing. And because I was an idiot and got a small jar and couldn't fit my big ass Matumbo hands up in it, I actually, uh, I'm going to be using the lid of the jar to pour the acetone into. I don't recommend this. Just get a jar or some like plastic or metal material or holder that's big enough for your hand. So of course you gotta stay strapped and protected at all times. Don't wanna catch a freaking illness, disease, HIV. And as you can see, I'm carefully pouring the acetone up in that lid right now. So look, it's over there. It's making waves and shit. And uh, yeah, I just ripped that wafer in half like an idiot. But yeah, here's the cotton round once again. I'm gonna flip and dip 
it into the acetone middle finger and then I'm gonna go ahead and just scrub the living hell out of these shoes to get rid of a layer of wax that actually protects the paint. I actually look like I could be naked right here a little bit. Envisioning it, yeah. But as you can see, I'm just scrubbing it all over. I do it for about 15 to 20 minutes for both shoes. Just go over it as much as you want. But as you can see, we are at the most important part of the vid and the most in-depth tutorializing part of this beautiful customization, and that is painting the shoe. So essentially what you wanna do when you paint the shoe is number one, not have paint build up. So in order to prevent paint from building up, forming thick, clumpy layers or drippage, what you wanna do is add thin, evenly applied coats of paint. So as you can see right now, I'm daddy stroking back and forth and just making sure that the coats of paint are even. Basically what you want is to follow that tumble leather right along the panels, be really careful around the midsole and around the Nike swoosh or other areas of the shoe that you are reserving for different colors of paint and just basically apply thin layers. So this is essentially the breakdown of how to paint the shoe. Number one, add a thin layer, flip it, add a thin layer to another panel, go back, add another layer on top. So let's do it one more time. As you can see right now, I'm adding the first coat of paint, then I'm gonna flip the shoe around, paint the outside, flip it back around and paint the inside. But yeah. All right, so now I'm going in with the color-coded mixing of paint combination tutorial in-depth footage. So basically what I wanna do is make a Miami Dolphin themed shoe. However, the turquoise straight out the bottle provided by Angelus did not match. So if that's the case, then you may wanna mix your paint. If you're not comfortable, then once again, just order it online and use paint straight out the bottle. But to get that teal aqua green, what I did was I mixed Angelus green paint with turquoise paint, I used a tiny bit of green in the turquoise and came up with the perfect color combo and I mixed it all like a boss optometrist in this contact container, like a straight up dawn. So right here, right now, I'm applying the third coat of paint on top of the turquoise that I already laid down. And once again, add five to six coats of thin, add five to six thin coats of paint to ensure a nice even finish. So as you can see, I'm just hitting the toe box right now. And if you peep game at the tongue, it does look uneven. However, that goes away with the five to six coats of paint that I apply. You can apply a minimum of four, but I recommend five to six to ensure maximum evenness. And as you can see, hitting up the tongue, straight French kissing it with a paintbrush, like a boss, you know, I'm all culture and this stuff. I speak French with my vulgarity and I also am French, not really. But uh, boom, so that's pretty much done. Now it's time to paint the Nike swoosh. It is black, so I'm gonna cover it with white just to add some unity to the shoe with that three-tone combo, white, orange, and that teal aqua green. And once again, apply thin coats of paint all up on that swoosh, that check, that Nike logo. And if you can see through the white paint, don't worry about it, because the more white you add, the more cocaine is up in your nostril. JK, but yeah, just add more and more white paint once again, because the more layers you put on, the more even it will look, and the more sexy and unified your whole shoe will be as a whole. So bam, painting the outside swoosh, I'm gonna flip it and dip it and paint the inside once again. I apply multiple coats of paint to repeat myself and be extra repetitious, and bam, the Nike swoosh is complete. Now you're gonna wanna whip out the painter's tape in order to paint the midsole. So I just get a piece and then I divide it all up in half. Look at that long division, quadratic equations, calculus like a gangster. Then I divide it even further and rip them into tiny little shard debris particles of blue painter's tape. Keep it crippin' cut, not JK blood. And then you wanna start lining the midsole. So as you can see, I'm using the factory refined edge to just put it around the midsole, fully wrap the shoe and fully embrace its natural shape of awesomeness. And yeah, I'm just putting it around the midsole right now. And once that's done, then you can hit it with the white paint to cover up that ugly, like black stripe. Actually, there are dual black stripes and they're equally ugly both ways. So yeah, you just wanna shape and conform it to the shape of the midsole, small pieces are preferred. Right now, I'm going ahead and just using white paint and putting it over those, once again, ugly dual wheel black stripes on the midsole. I apply about 10 thin coats of paint onto the midsole. I am using Angelus to just to make sure the glossiness is consistent. And once again, I apply that many coats of paint to ensure maximum durability, evenness of coats, and overall general sexiness on the midsole of this kick. So once again, you can paint the bottom of the shoe if you would like, if you're that anal about it, but I just recommend painting the sides of the midsole because why would you paint the bottom if it's gonna get dirty anyways? 
but as you can see I'm hitting the toe portion of the midsole once again just getting rid of all that ugly blackness to make sure it's a pure cocaine scarface level white and bam there is the completed midsole and Nike swoosh thing looks sexy so now I'm gonna hit orange to match the Miami Dolphin theme once again on the back. Maybe this stripe, but I actually don't because that looks trifling. And along the eyelet storage container facility holder white strip. So right now I'm just using orange paint. Once again, applying my first coat like the G I am. And I'm going ahead and just painting on top of the Nike embroidery, embroideriness, embroidered shit. And now I'm going to apply the orange paint on the eyelet storage facility where the laces are nice and housed all up in the little hose. You dig, straight porous. Look at that, it's like a sponge and shit. Not really, but once again, applying four to five coats of paint. With the orange, I actually only apply four coats of paint because I don't really need to apply too many because it actually turned out quite even, quite sexy, and quite to my liking, mate. And bam, last coat of paint. As you can see, it's nice, even, and sexy. Once again, just be sure you don't get that orange paint on the teal regions of the shoe, so be extra careful about it. But now that that's done, we're gonna turn over to the more detail-oriented part of the customization, and that is painting the embroidery. So essentially all I do is get a really thin paintbrush and just hit it up with cheap Wally World acrylic paint. So you can use any type of acrylic paint for the embroidery, whether it's Jordans, Nikes, Adidas, whatever shoe, you can hit the embroidered region which is normal acrylic paint. So I'm using white paint right here and I'm gonna put it into my plastic container and go ham. And now I'm applying paint to the E and just being extra careful. Now do and paint the shoe in whatever manner is comfortable for you. So I like holding it up close to my face just to make sure I don't F up. And once again, I'm just being extra anal, extra careful and really highly observant, straight up like a spy, Bill Nye the science guy going ham all up on that Nike embroidery, huh? So dude, pretty much done on the Nike part. Now it's time to paint the interior sock lining and to do that, once again, I use straight up Wally World acrylic paint and I actually dilute it with some water. So bam, look, there's the paint, water all up in the Rudy's cup. But once again, using a small brush to get the really small regions where you don't want the paint dripping onto the teal and orange portion of the shoe. So once again, to reiterate, I'm just being really careful around the orange and teal regions of the shoe. That's why I'm using a small brush on that tiny line of interior sock lining meshness. And then once that's done, you can get a huge brush and just start going ham, applying white paint on the interior of the shoe. And I apply about two to three coats of watered down acrylic paint just to ensure it soaks in the mesh. And then you want to go ahead and hit up the tongue. This thing looks like a freaking chimney sweep. Like, look at that. That thing is straight dirty. Are those like shit stains or what is that? Is that ash? Oh, look at that ash. And I'm going to paint that square box as well. So right now my hat burn is in the way because I was not aware of my camera surroundings. But I'm just going ahead and painting that little white trimmage with nice, clean, pure acrylic paint. And bam, painted the square too. Looks nice and sexy like a white starburst. And now I'm just going ahead and lacing the shoes. You can lace them in any manner, way, fashion, or form that you see fit. These laces are a bit thick in my personal opinion, but they're the only ones I had laying around. So deal with it. And without further ado, here is the completed Nike custom Miami Dolphin $6 thrifted shoes of brilliance. Check them out.